Hey YouTube, we're back with the Player Sportsman 570 uh, mod. Um, I looked around for a lot of places for little grills to go over your lights, guards, grates, covers, cages, whatever you want to call them. I uh, wasn't real happy with anything that I found. So what I did was I went to the local hardware store, got a sheet of expanded metal, and put the expanded metal up against the headlight opening there, marked where I wanted to cut it, sanded it down with a, cut it with a four inch angle grinder, sanded it down, uh, primed it, several coats of paint. Um, I originally wanted to put all of these behind the bar, the back side of this bumper. However, because the way I lighted, uh, mounted my light bar, I had to put it in front. Uh, but it's easy, it's cheap, it's a fun little project to do on yourself. And it really, it looks, it looks cooler. Not that that does anything for anything, but it does look cooler. Um, it will knock down how much light your machine puts out in these front headlights. Uh, to me, I found it dimmed it nicely. I hunt. I'll use this to get in and out of places uh, way before daylight. So the fact that this does cut down on some of the light that comes out on low beam is a welcome to me. Uh, however, on high beam, the only thing it does is makes it from being almost obnoxious because there's so much light that comes out of the three headlights and the light bar on high beam that it's it's almost obnoxious it's so so uh, bright uh, this knocks it down just enough to where it's not quite obnoxious uh, i don't mean obnoxious in a bad way either um, as you can see the only thing i've done is i just zip tied this put some zip ties in not many just enough to hold it in place the great thing is if I ever need to get in there, all I gotta do is clip the uh, zip ties and I can get right into the light bar, into the grill area. Uh, anything I might need to do to get in to any of it. <clears throat> I'd originally thought about tack welding it, but that just wasn't, uh, wasn't really an option. I wanted something removable. And actually the zip ties don't look bad. So, Anyway, if you're looking for a solution to cover your lights, um, then I may suggest you go to the hardware store. Just get you a, a small tube of two or whatever they have of um, expanded metal. Mark on the expanded metal uh, where you need to make your cuts. And after you do that, cut it out. Uh, sand it off to where these aren't sharp these top edges and bottom edges and zip tie it on there paint it any color you like I tell you I think that if it were another color besides black it would not lose as much light because the primer that I put on this was a light gray color and I can tell you that it didn't uh, you don't lose as much light whenever whenever your whenever your guards or a lighter color uh, so if that's a concern of yours you might want to go with some other color other than black the gray actually looked pretty cool in there but the black is just just looks good on this bike um, like I said I'll take this put it on the back side here zip tied in and now my lights are protected and it didn't cost $20 so anyway Good luck in your endeavors on these machines. DIY. I've got another DIY project I'm working on right now on the back hitch uh, for a little extra room to hold things. Whenever I'm finished with it, I'll do another video and put it up for you.